What's up, guys? So we are back here on Twitch. Ashes of Creation's Twitch live stream happened on June 30th, and this is a slight recap of it, mainly talking about PAX Prime, PAX West information. Massive, massive, massive news. They're going to be at PAX Prime. They're going to have a massive booth there, and this goes to show you the difference between a normal Kickstarter and like a Kickstarter that has money. They are literally burning tons and tons of cash to do this because it's not cheap what they're doing. So I'm going to let you uh, hear exactly what they're saying, what they're going to do here at PAX Prime in two months, and then we'll discuss this a little bit more. It's PAX Prime. Um, we have a very large setup there. We're going to be on the main floor. Um, we're going to have two experiences for our players. Uh-huh. Um, and so it'll be pretty self-contained um, experiences. One's going to be a PvE experience, one's going to be a PvP experience. Um, kind of to give you kind of a broad sort of sense of what's going on. Um, right. So like we're going to have uh, uh, t two groups available for people to, to run through, you know, starting out in a town, um, you know, doing uh, an escort duty with a caravan. You're going to see the town be able to progress um, in uh, its stage as a node. Um, you're going to go through a dungeon delve and you're going to, to experience um, four classes will be playable. Uh -huh. uh, we're going to have the primary archetypes, not with any secondary classes, but just the primary archetypes. Um, and that's going to be a tank, uh, it's going to be a ranger, it's going to be a mage and a cleric. Uh -huh. And we're going to go over in a little bit um, today uh, about some of the skills that are going to be seen. Yep. Um, uh, some of the, the combat systems, we're going to explain a little bit about the combat systems that people will see there. Uh, as well as some of the utility systems and, and ultimate abilities yeah. um, uh, after we show the character customization uh, video. Uh, and the flip side of that coin is players will also be able to experience, on the other side we'll have eight stations set up where players can participate in a team versus team um, uh, battle in an arena. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, pretty simple, pretty, just to get your feet wet and kind of get a feel for what we're doing here. Um, get a sense of what it's like to fight another player um, and not just the environment. Um, we thought having both of those are important since both of those are important to our game. Um, and we want to make sure that everybody kind of gets an experience on that. Right. And they're really self-contained. Um, you know, it's not, it's not the broader game. Um, it's, it's just a very focused, uh, very um, quick kind of driven yeah. experience. And we're going to also have some merchandise at PAX for those of you who will be at PAX Prime in Seattle. Um, there will be uh, unique merchandise specific to PAX, and then there will yep. be some broader ones that will be offered later on in the store uh, online. Um, so we have a pretty busy uh, schedule over the next 60 yep. days. <laughs> so as you heard, such great news. In just two months, 59 days, 22 hours, 1 minute, 48 seconds, according to the PAX website, PAX Prime starts, and we're going to get to see the first iteration of the combat, which is huge. So we're going to see four classes the basics of the game there being displayed. We're also going to be PvPing with other players in what seems to be a 4v4 arena matchup, and then also some PvE experience. That is huge. And for them to be on the floor at PAX, for those that don't know, that's why we're here on the PAX website, tickets are very, very expensive. They sell it within minutes for PAX. The floor tickets to actually get a booth to PAX it's insanely expensive. There's concerts there. There's thousands of, of people there. There's console free play areas. You can see some of the pictures from past PAX events. Look at how many people are there. This is just a big gaming, you know, mecca with thousands upon thousands of people. And pretty much every major studio is there on the floor. Even some minor studios like NCSoft and Trine Worlds weren't actually on the floor of PAX you know, for many years, and even to this day, NCSoft doesn't have a floor booth on there because it's just so expensive. But this is the difference, again, guys. These guys, Intrepid Studios, have the money. They are spending upwards to $30 million to fund the game, and they're using that kind of money to buy floor space, to buy publicity, and push the game further, faster, harder than other companies. This is not your normal Kickstarter. This is generally, you know, essentially a triple A Kickstarter game. Uh, so, you know, triple A company here with massive funding. It's all private though. It's all personally funded by Steven himself and maybe some small investors here and there, but we don't know about yet. But yes, this is a massive, massive game that is funded not through Kickstarter, not solely through that, not just like, hey, we have an idea. This is a game 
that has the money to back it up. And that's why the progress is actually going pretty quickly. So we'll be seeing tons of this progress at PAX because they are showing off the combat. They've talked a lot about the skills in that live stream. So if you want to know more about some of the basic skills, go check out the live stream. I've linked it down below. And also make sure that you sign up on the Ashes of Creation website. You can get free beta or alpha access if you sign up on their website. They do weekly drawings and you can win that stuff. You can get into the alpha at the end of 2017 if you are one of the lucky winners. That is amazing because you can't even buy that. So the first purchasable alpha is sometime in 2018. But you will be able to get in a 2017 alpha if you are one of the lucky winners from the drawing. They already do have about 100,000 users there. So you do have to be insanely lucky to get in there. They do about 5 to 10 winners every week. So there is a small chance, but they've been doing that for about 30 weeks now, if I recall. So there are opportunities, and it will continue to go throughout the years as Ashes of Creation is in development. So better than nothing, free alpha, free beta access. You could get that with those, you know, sign up through the website. All it is is an email address. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about PAX or the, the studio and, you know, where this money number came from, just look at some of the past live streams. It is all there. Steven Sharif has a ton of money, massive, massive amounts of money, and he is putting his money where his mouth is.